Well, I promised you a review of the Great Adventure Bible, and this is gonna be it. Okay, editing Amanda here. Just popping in because I didn't say it when I recorded this video, but I'm going to have a full flip through of the Great Adventure Bible at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Uh, like I had said before, this book, this Bible was sent to me by Ascension Press um, in hopes that I would review it for all of you and let you know what I think about it. And I really do like this Bible. So what I did is I went through and I put tabs on. I like to tab my Bibles. Anybody who's um, seen my Bibles knows most of them will have tabs on. I think like every Bible I own has tabs. But with these tabs, I chose to get the Great Adventure tabs so that the colors should match. Um, they didn't all match though, that was interesting. I had three um, books in the Prophets that didn't match. Let me show you them because it was, when I was putting them in, I was a little bit confused. So the book of Joel, the tab color is black, the Bible color is blue. So to try to figure out how Joel fit in, I pulled out my Bible timeline bookmark and the whole map, and it's supposed to be blue. <laughs> so the tab is black, but it's supposed to be a blue tab. So there's that one. Then there's Obadiah. Obadiah is just a short little prophet book, but let's look over here so we can see. Um, black tab, blue in the Bible. It's supposed to be blue according to the Bible timeline stuff. So. There's that one. And then there's one more, Zechariah. Where did he go? Okay, Zechariah. So Zechariah over here is yellow tab, blue in the book. It is supposed to be yellow according to the Bible timeline. So um, there's just, those are three things I caught when I was putting in the tabs. And there are things falling out of my Bible, which is no surprise because I always shove extra things in my Bible. Um, but yes, this is, the Great Adventure Bible, and I put tabs in it. So now, let's get to it. I really like this. So the pens that I normally use, I usually use the Pilot G2 pens, or um, Sharpie Ultra Fine Points if I'm doing something Sharpie-ish, or pencil. So um, I went to the notes page in the back of the Bible, and I used those, col those, um, those pens, and I put them in there, and then I turned the page to see how they bleed through. So the Sharpie one bleeds through a lot. The G2 you can see it through and you can also see the highlighter through. The pencil doesn't really show up through, but that's normal. So um, yeah, so the pages are still thin Bible pages, but they're not as um, shiny as some other Bible pages that I've had. So I do like that, that it doesn't um, get as schmeary. But with some of these papers that I have in the back are actually just I took um, normal paper and cut it in half, which is about the size of my Bible. I usually keep um, blank pages like this in the back, so that way if I am writing on a Bible page and I have pen and my pen isn't quite dry, I put the page in and then I can close it and, or turn to the next page without having to worry about the ink transferring between the two pages. So like I put it in here if I wrote on this page and then I could turn the page without having to worry about the ink. Um, moving through, if that makes sense. But anyway, <laughs> so this Bible, let's go through what's actually in this Bible now. So let's see. It starts out with a lot of really awesome things at the intro. It has the whole page where you can write in your sacramental history. I filled mine out, so I'm not going to show you what it is because you don't need to know all of my sacrament dates. There's the introduction that is in the beginning of all RSV Second Catholic Edition Bibles. It's the standard, it's the standard introduction that they put in um, talking about the Bible. And then there's a talk about, it tells you who the editors of the Bible are, of this Bible are, the Great Adventure Bible. And then it gives you the table of contents. And then it talks about the index of articles, charts, and maps. There's a lot of articles um, throughout the whole Bible. So it lists all of them for you. And then there is a foreword to the Great Adventure Bible that talks about this Bible and an introduction to this Bible that tells you more about this Bible itself and how it's different from other Bibles. It includes the full Bible timeline chart there, the 90-day um, reading plan to get through the narrative books of the Bible timeline. Because if you don't know much about the Bible timeline, it is it tells you what the narrative books are that follow the story of salvation um, from Genesis all the way through. That story doesn't 
there's all the supplemental books that um, supplement that story, but they're not the narrative books. So it has what it calls the narrative books that has a schedule you can read through it in 90 days. Then there is a section, an article section called How to Interpret the Bible that is quite a few pages long that talks about how Catholics should interpret the Bible. It's about six pages long. Then there's a whole article on Lexio Divina. With The Great Adventure, it's split into sections of um, the narrative story. So it starts with the early world. So this is the first part and it gives you the introduction. It tells you about it. And then there's a little article about the early world for a few pages. And there's also talk about the covenants. So that way you know what the outline is through um, through scripture follows the covenant structure, which is really, really awesome. This was this is used in a lot of grad classes too. And then what it does throughout the Bible, they have what they call key events in the narrative. And it has a little little pullout article about it. And then like it goes through and each time it gets to a new covenant, it explains the covenant with a two, about two pages usually and continues on. So that's basically the structure of this Bible is to help you understand the narrative of salvation history. For each um, book of the Bible, no matter what book it is, on the top, it tells you what period you're in for the church, like what period of salvation history you're in. So that's helpful when you're reading through and you're like flipping through the middle of, I don't know, Judith or something. And you're like, oh, I'm in the exile. That's good to know. Go back to Ezra. Okay, we're in the return. We've come back from exile. Like, it's just good to know where you are in the Bible. And that's what this is help helpful with. The second Catholic edition of the Revised Standard Version is also my favorite translation of the Bible for um, daily stuff, so I'm very, very happy with this Bible. I am really loving it, especially with the maps in the back. So that's what this Bible includes, and I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, yeah, I've been reading through again because I haven't read through so much. Um, I haven't really read through much of Genesis recently. I've been reading more in New Testament, so I was reading through Genesis earlier. And it's just kind of great to go back and reread and have the little pull-outs of the key events. So it's making sure that I'm remembering that I know where I am in salvation history. So far, I'm just really enjoying this Bible. And I do, I have been carrying it around, so it's been seeing a bit of use, but it hasn't really done much beyond the cover, starting to get a little bit well-worn, which is just fine. I mean. This is turning into an awesome Bible and I am so, so happy to have it. So please let me know what your thoughts are on this Bible. If you have this Bible, if you're thinking about this Bible, what's your favorite Bible? Let me know down in the comments and make sure to read all of them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you next time. God bless.
congrats you made it all the way through this video thanks so much for watching and now i've got a question for you please answer this question in the comments so if you could have um coffee or lunch or dinner with somebody in the old testament who would you pick and why please let me know in the comments and then i'll let you know mine god bless